Hello friends and welcome to this new video. In this video, I want to start a mini series that is going to explore the three-way comparison operator that was introduced in C++20. That operator is also called informally a spaceship operator because some people think it looks like a spaceship, but you can call it whatever you want. The good thing about this operator is that its main goal is to simplify how we set up and maintain logical or comparison operators in C++. It is not uncommon to have a bunch of comparison operators in your C++ type, maybe 20 or even more. If you want to support implicit conversion from fundamental types to your type, that's going to be really messy and this is a headache in C++ code. The three-way comparison operator is an effort to make this simple in that you can only implement the three-way comparison operator and any C++ 20 compiler is going to synthesize all the other operators from the three-way comparison operator. For example, you can only set up the three-way comparison operator and you're going to have a less than operator, a greater than operator, a less than or equal operator, and a greater than or equal operator generated for you by the compiler and you don't have to maintain these operators. It is even possible to let the compiler generate all the six comparison operators if you default the three-way comparison operator and that's going to be really cool. We're going to learn about all this in this mini series and you're going to understand how this works. The videos I am going to be showing in this lecture are going to be from our upcoming course on C++20, which is going to go all the way from the beginning and teach you really advanced things in C++ and we're going to cover the big features in C++20. We are going to cover concepts. In later chapters, we are also going to cover ranges, coroutines, and modules. And at some point, we are also going to cover the three-way comparison operators in our chapter on operator overloading. So if you are watching this in the future, you might want to check the link in the description below and you're going to find the link to the course. You can watch it if you are interested in learning C++20 from the absolute beginning and really be able to do pretty advanced things. So in C++20, if you are okay with member-wise comparisons for the members of your class, you can default your operator. For example, you can default the three-way comparison operator and you're going to get all the six comparison operators generated for you. If you don't want the default behavior, you will have to set up your own three-way comparison operator and a Nico operator. And if you do that, you will need to know about something really important in C++20. You need to specify the kind of comparison you want for your class. We have three kinds of comparisons. We have strong ordering, we have weak ordering, we have partial ordering. If you don't know what these mean, please watch the next video. I am going to explain this. And this is going to set a strong foundation on how you really work with your C++ 20 comparison operators. If you want more information on this, you can click on this link. They are going to try and explain it. But this is really not digestible for beginners. That's why I am setting up this series to really try and explain this in English so that even beginners in C++ can really understand this. If you want to learn about the three-way comparison operator in C++, head to the next video and we are going to go in detail about this. And I hope you're going to enjoy this series. So go ahead and finish up here and meet me in the next video.